All right, it's game two. Um, we're on Cosmic Sapphire. It's um, <laughs> with Crimson Tide uh, versus Lava Fox. We're in this best of three. Now I have an inkling as to what is going to happen here, um, because 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 I was chatting to um, I was chatting to Crimson Tide just t'other day, and she said. If I win the first game, I will planetary rush in the second. That was, uh, you know, so I'm kind of, I'm keen to see whether uh, she actually does it. Let's find out. Um, so it's, uh, it's this, um, yeah, if she was going to, she should already be on her way across the map. So um, maybe, <laughs> maybe that's not what's going to happen here. And meanwhile, that box. Pylon, pylon, pylon. <laughs> that is not that is not a good start, I'll tell you that for free. Um so this uh this business, this this does not look like any sort of planetary rush to me. Um normally if you were gonna planetary rush, what you do is you send a worker across the map straight away. Um but uh, Oh, okay. Well maybe it is I mean the clue's in the name. Rush. You don't you don't build like a depot, a barracks, and gas first. You, you literally this needed to be built in immediately. So you send the workers straight away. You send another worker to build your depot. By the time uh, the workers arrived on the other side of the map, it is a feral walk. Um, you probably because you, you're not going to build the racks. Uh, you'll just about have enough money to get uh, the command center down, or with you know maybe a pretty short wit. Um, when the CC is about half done, you send another few workers across the map and you start building the eBay. Um, load the workers into the command center. There isn't an eBay. There, what? And these are, oh, there is, there is an eBay, but these guys are, they're well lit. Those workers were supposed to be in the command center. So Lava Fox is going to have, because this is so lit, Lava Fox has got enough zealots to just kill it. Although this one, <laughs> this guy's like, he's livid. He's trapped and he's absolutely livid about it. He's just working on, on this pylon. Um, so when does Lava Fox see this? Because um, he's got more, right, right now is when he sees it. So the CC's gonna come in and land and it's, okay, the workers are out. It's gonna start turning into a, a planetary. The zealots are gonna start going ham on it. You need to run, you can't like, the zealot, what? <laughs> Zealots are killing their own side core alive. <laughs> I don't know. You need to kind of muck about. Oh, it finishes up, but there's so many zealots. You need to muck about with the workers and not lose them so that the planetary actually uh, finishes up with full health. But to be honest, Crimson Tide, the mistake you've made here is look at the time. You know, this isn't this is nowhere close to a rush. It really isn't. You build it over here instead of here, which is a much longer fly distance, and it was just lit. It was way lit. Um, so, you know, there, there just shouldn't be that many zealots on the map when this turns out. Uh, so, what's the follow up here? What what uh, can Crimson do about this? <laughs> oh dear. We've got five Marines. The army supply doesn't look great, I'll be honest. So, if Lava Fox has any sense, they just go across the map um, because. You know, if your opponent has just lost a planetary in your base, that's so expensive. Like early in the game, you know, the CC cost 400, the eBay cost 150, 150 I think. Um, or is it 125? I can't remember. Um, and then to turn it into a planetary costs some as well. And there was quite a few workers lost in the mix. So, you know, if somebody has done that, Tech-wise, they're so far behind from where they should be. Army-wise, they're so far behind from where they should be. Um, there's no way they've got a decent force up if they've mucked about and done that. And it hasn't been successful. It hasn't achieved anything. This guy has, has taken some gas with him, which sort of suggests that there's a gas here with a worker short, and there is. Um, but yeah, the side court, um, the side court went down, didn't it? He, he killed the side court himself with his own zealots, which is interesting. This guy also packing gas, uh, which, oh, oh, yeah. Um, 
Uh, yeah, so let's. Let, <laughs> what is this absolute shambles? <laughs> this is a lot of zealots. They don't have charge though. Um, if I have a peek at the upgrades, uh, it's plus one for the Marines, and that is actually devastating. Marines do small amounts of damage rapidly, so plus one makes a big difference to how much damage they, they do. If you think about the way that works, um, you know, plus one adds one attack to whatever. Um, so, so Marines that do small amounts of damage over and over again quite fast, uh, it makes a huge difference if you've got something like an Immortal that does like 50 damage per time slowly, plus one just makes it 51, it doesn't make that much of a difference. Marines doing like whatever they do, three and a half damage, uh, but like, you know, 20 times, um, obviously, 20 and four and a half damage, it's a huge difference. Uh, so the Zealots are in and they're just gonna wreck absolutely everything. There's nothing here that can really hold. Um, there's no bunker up at the top here, so, the wi oh, that said, these Widow Mines change everything. Uh, a little bit too far back, That's, they're not gonna trigger. Um, yeah, somewhere about here would be nice. Um, so this first hit, if they clump, that's gonna be pretty brutal. Um, a lot of Marines not firing. The other Widow Mine miles away, not sure why. Um, what you wanna try and do here is, yeah, this Widow Mine is gonna pack a punch. Unfortunately, um, there was no run. Uh, so the sort of dragged the shot onto the uh, turn units as well. There is not enough to hold this though, pretty comfortably. Uh, so Crimson should be able to see this off. However, um, you know, there's a gateway here, there's stuff warping in. The next round of stuff that comes in might be harder to hold. This medevac is gonna go, oh my. Quicker reactions from Lava Fox, and that was GG. I mean, if Crimson loses that medevac full of units, that is, like, that's the end of that game, surely. Um, as it turns out, doesn't, uh, I don't know what that was. Was it a Viking or something? Just got uh, absolutely shrecked. Anyway, let's see, uh, what? Okay, so this siege tank on the high ground, it's, it's gonna make it hard to break. Um, let's see what the drop does on the other side of the map. You know, is there anything at home here? There isn't, but there are warp gates. So Lava Fox can warp in uh, reinforcements to deal with this pretty quickly. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six warp gates. So six, uh, I mean, slow zealots, not so much, but they will clean it up. Um, yeah, I think I'd have preferred some stalkers uh, to focus on the medevac, um, or at least, you know, a couple of stalkers so that the, the zealots can tank and the, the stalkers can deal with the medevac. Anyway, um, anyway, Crimson does manage to save the marines from the zealots, uh, and so they are still active, still being a nuisance. But once the zealots get on top of the marines, zealots are pretty tanky and they will just hack. Uh oh. Oh, it needs to boost, doesn't Um So that is unfortunate. Um, however, a lot of damage done. There's no workers here anymore. If we look at the worker, <laughs> oh dear, here we are at 11 minutes and it's 24 to 21 workers. I mean, Crimson has yet to expand. This siege tank is doing some work here. Um, a little bit too far forward and has been focused on, uh, but nevertheless, did a lot of work. That, you know, if the Widow Mine was burrowed, if the Marauders were shooting, if the Medivac was healing, it, it's a bit of a shambles. The, <laughs> these are basic things this isn't high level micro this is just like you know that's what medevacs do they heal stuff widow mines aren't going to do anything unless they're burrowed within range um, and obviously marauders standing looking isn't that helpful for anyone but crimson desperately needs an expo um yeah over on this side of the map there's very little gas activity there's no gas taken here and and we're mining gas with one worker and um, somehow lava fox has still got 400 gas spare i don't know why is it because they're not really building anything yes it is you know there are all these gateways and there's nothing in production so um, lava fox really needs to fix that because in theory uh, they should just be able to brute force this they've got two bases compared to well one mining base at present which is pretty much mined out um so you know look at all this money in the bank ridiculous um you when you see that you look up in the top right corner and you go oh i've got four thousand minerals but i've got no gas hmm, what should i do about that i'll give you a clue mine some you know one one worker mining gas is what you've got and, and you have the capacity here um 
you have the capacity to have 12 workers mining gas. So you could have 12 times the gas income. Um, siege tank behind a wall, you know, this is so hard to break. Uh, you're not really going to push up here with um, uh, with gateway units, tier one units. It's just not going to work. Uh, certainly not without upgrades. You know, throw in blink so that you can get the stalkers to here, and then blink onto this siege tank, and then yeah, sure, maybe, uh, maybe you can do that. Um, but just walking up that ramp, it's not going to work. You've seen that it's not going to work. So you need to tech up. You need something to bust through there. You need immortals to just punch these buildings down. You need colossus to give you the range to just you know kill all the marines behind the wall whatever it doesn't really matter or air to fly around the back it's up to you which one of those options you go for but walking up the ramp again and again you know with a handful of units just isn't going to cut the mustard uh, so you either need to get to the point where you are 200 supply stalkers and then yeah sure you know that will ultimately break it um i don't like I'd love to see this medevac actually fly in and drop the widow mines. Not much point dropping them here. There's so few workers here, though. Juicy targets. Look at that. So clumped together because we're running out of minerals. Speaking of which, Lava Fox seriously needs to expand. 14 minutes, and we're still on the two bases that we had at the four minute mark. You know what I mean? Um, you need to be throwing down another base every few minutes. Uh, so, Lava Fox is going to go for it again. Unfortunately, the Zealots aren't at the front. Uh, so they're going to be filing past, they're a little bit stuck here. But this is quite a lot of stuff and it has broken through the wall. The siege tank is doing work, but I don't know, without a medevac, without a single medevac here, despite three starports, um, <laughs> not a single medevac in sight. Um, you know, the marines are just so squishy, it's painful. They, uh, yeah, no combat shield either. Um, nasty uh, but yeah the lack of medevacs just makes them so squid or well was this medevac here I don't know but it, it certainly wasn't above the marines uh, another widow mine that isn't burrowed it's a, it's a slightly fudged defense here um, so the gateway units do finally bust this and Crimson you know while she does have these bases to fall back on um, She's going to lose an awful lot of the production here. Now, you can lift these buildings and fly them away. You don't have to lose them. Uh, the fusion core cannot fly, but the supply depots can't fly, and the add ons can't fly. But you might as well save your starports because you might as well. You might as well save your factory because you can. Um, you know, maybe she's trying to not fly them away to draw attention to these. But if that's the plan, then you need to be rebuilding stuff over here. Um, you can't do neither, <laughs> you know. Uh, and the, the cheeky hovering uh, orbital. Okay, so what is the plan here? We've pinned all of our hopes on this widow mine. That what what happened? Did these finally sort of fly in? I kind of I think I missed that. Uh, they must have. Um, but this game is essentially over. Oh, it's a recall. That's the first time we've seen a recall. Uh, so the stalkers recall home. Uh, arguably a little bit of overkill. All them stalkers to shoot the one widow mine. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with widow mines, uh, they burrow and become cloaked because they're burrowed. Uh, but once they have fired and they're on cooldown, they are visible. Um, so if we look from La Lava Fox's vision, you can see that one. Um, unless you've got an armory. So if you've got an armory as the Terran, um, your widow mines. Oh, that's a bit painful. That's a little bit sloppy to not get that out of there. There's. You know, you didn't have an awful lot else to do. You just had to boost that away. Um, Fusion Core, unfortunately, is going to go down. And there's, like, now the barracks is building. But really, once this stuff broke up the ramp, there should have been a barracks building over here so that you've got that to fall back on. What these crowd are doing over in this corner, I have no idea. Um, so, uh, Lava Fox, presumably just wondering, look, how many kills has this one? Am I got nine? You know, Lava Fox just wondering, uh, what's going on? Um, so scouting around the map is what you need to do, Lava Fox. You need to find where your opponent is. Um, if you know about this as well, because you may well have seen that fly away. The other thing you need is something that flies, um, anything that flies, to to just hook around the map. And to be honest, if you're in a scenario, oh, they find this one. If you're in a scenario where your opponent's hiding, 
flying stuff is extremely useful because it gets around the map quicker than stuff that has to walk and has to follow the pathing. Um, you know, so a void ray or whatever would be just fine. It's gonna fly by the map, it's gonna find stuff quickly. And of course, it can kill flying buildings as well. But as it is, uh, Crimson taps out and it's one apiece. <laughs>